I'm Chris Smith for Priscilla's Corner this week. On the topic this week is swingers. My point of view, sex is a way of life. Montrealers out of any citizen should know that in this city at least, it is an art. The swingers scene has been a part of Montreal nightlife for over 30 years. The Quebec court on July of 2003 formally recognized this and has decided to support and protect those who wish to practice this specific lifestyle. Prior to this, police have taken matters into their own hands and governed an ethics squad by applying, quote, societal morals as they saw fit. I feel that if the Quebec court allows it, then Quebec police officers will respect it. If these practitioners of swinging choose to take part in sexual acts behind closed doors, it is their right. Although it is an acquired taste, there is still a large enough demographic to support this activity. I like to think that society as a whole has matured to the point where this practice is condoned, yet not embraced to where it becomes a fad or overly publicized so not to expose minors. There is a time and a place for almost everything. If we allow our personal rights to be invaded by big brother beliefs, there is not much room left for privacy. It is bad enough video surveillance is already on the table, where a constant eye is set to govern with an iron curtain in a post-paranoid McCarthyist era. Becoming a more sensitive society seems to be the trend and a reliable source for sensationalism. What's next? Restroom identification cards? How we choose to pursue our sexual preferences is entirely subjective and individualistic. I'm Christopher Smith for this week's Priscilla's Corner. Break Talks is sponsored in part by Everything Out of Her Mouth is a Test, a man's guide to the emotional needs of women. Ladies, do you want the man in your life to understand you on your level? Do you want your man to be able to listen to you and address all of your emotional needs? Show him how much you really want your relationship to be the best it can be. Everything Out of Her Mouth is a Test makes a perfect gift. The book written by a man, for men, is it endorsed by every woman that reads it. This book is a guide for men to understand exactly what a woman means when she speaks. Is that worth changing your life forever? Buy this book at franktalks.com now. And we're back on Know Your Rights Legal Show on CINQ 102.3 FM. My name is Ted Wright. I'm coordinator of Westmount Legal Clinic, and I'm your host... I'm Chris Smith, co-host. Frank B., segment producer. And we have lawyer Bernard Corbeil, who is discussing the legal aspects of uh, these laws, swingers' laws, personal in, uh, personal freedom and interaction. Uh, Bernard, you had something else you wanted to add here. Yes. Uh, Chris just mentioned something very interesting about Off minors, air. people. And you have to understand that uh, there's a definition, a specific a definition in that survey that you have to understand why people are tolerating is always between adult of legal age who are consenting, who know that where they are, and they are there for uh, explicit uh, sexual activity and group in a, a business place, uh, recognized for that and reserved for that. And those activities are, cannot be shown, seen by, by the public. And that is the type of swinging which is tolerated, okay? Mm -hmm. No prostitution. You know, not a way to like show that we uh, say that we are a swing club, and it's not a real swing club. Is the mobs things, or this the mafia, or it's the prostitution? These guys, that is not tolerated. Okay, so it's very important to understand that there's a specific definition of uh, lifestyle. Also, in the survey, you have two very interesting uh, points. Can you tell us the page? Or yes, page to? ten. Yes, page ten of the of the survey, where you can see uh, that. Uh, uh, it's talk about the 87% of the population. That means that almost 15% of the people uh, say that we are not swinging, we're not swingers, but we would like to visit a club, a swing club. That means that in Montreal area, for example, if we are close to 2 million or 3 million people with the South Shore and the uh, North Shore, that on 15, uh, on those two, 2 or 3 million people, you have 15 percent, that means maybe four or five, uh, three or four thousand people who would like to visit the club because they would like to know what it is, okay? Even if they're not practicing, they're not practicing. Okay, let me just say this so people understand what you're talking about. Eighty-seven percent, of, this is from a court document, eighty-seven percent of the people in Quebec, according in to Canada. the survey, or Canada, Canada, said, we don't want to go there personally, but it can exist. And more than six out of ten said they don't 
mind if other people do it. 64% go ahead, do what you want. 87% said we don't, we don't, we're not going to go, but go ahead and do what you want. But and it, this, it, is, this is part of the proof. Yes, and if 87% uh, do not want to, to visit a club, that means that almost 15 wants to visit if, if they are not swingers. So that means that it's something now very common to, mm -hmm. and people are not shy to do that. And the other thing, very important, is at page 18 as well. Okay. And at page 18, we show you how important uh, the media are and that, and that evolution in the society. Because at the page 18, if you look at, uh, at the uh, the people who have uh, knowledge of what a, a swing club... Now, which number is this? Is 4B, 4E? E, that's the, uh, the, the 4A okay. and uh, the uh, 4C. Mm -hmm. As you can see, if people uh, know a club, know what a swinging is, they are more tolerating. That means more people know about it, more less they are scared, and more they understand what it is. And then that's why the the, the tolerance increased up to eighty three percent and okay. to seventy percent. We on how much time? And they have are the same thing. Okay, we yeah. okay. We've we've run out of time, and we've got all these court documents. We got much much more. Uh, you can start the theme song in the background if that's what you need, Marcia. We how much how much time do we have left? Well, we're, there we are. That means we're pretty much out. So, what essentially has come down is that uh, people can do what they want. Franco, you want to say something? Uh, Bernard, yes. is there anywhere, uh, is there a website where people can get access to these legal documents? Yes, uh, you can go on uh, Arash Club, O R A G E C L U B dot com. You have a summary of the judgment, and you can even get the full 222 paragraph, uh, 52 pages judgment. Just write to us at info at Arash Club. Uh, dot com and we would provide with the untitled uh, the complete uh, judgment. We've got that here, so it's www.orageclub.com and you can get that. Now, if you'd like to contact the, the legal clinic, it's Westmount Legal Clinic at hotmail.com. Fax is 514-277-8403, 514 514-277-8403. Or email Ted FM at hotmail.com. We are almost out of time. This is uh, Know Your Rights Illegal Show. Five words. Well, now, do you want to say five more words? Yes. Remember that uh, lifestyle is something very respectful, and uh, try it, and you will adopt it. Okay. Thank you very much for everybody here. Know Your Rights Illegal Show will be back next week. Break Talks is sponsored in part by Everything Out of Her Mouth is a Test, a man's guide to the emotional needs of women. Ladies, do you want the man in your life to understand you on your level? Do you want your man to be able to listen to you and address all of your emotional needs? Show him how much you really want your relationship to be the best it can be. Everything Out of Her Mouth is a Test makes a perfect gift. The book written by a man, for men, is endorsed by every woman that reads it. This book is a guide for men to understand exactly what a woman means when she speaks. Is that worth changing your life forever? Buy this book at franktalks.com now.